Okay, this is going to be a good unboxing. This is a, a, a tablet that I bought on Amazon made by a company called Dragon and uh, it's a nine inch uh, tablet but it's got four processor and um, I'm curious to see, I, I only paid 75 bucks for it but from all the, the talk on Amazon it's supposed to be a really really good tablet for the money and so let's take, a, this is the unboxing so it's an A93 quad core, Dragon Touch is the the actual brand name and I'm going to uh, cut this video off and charge this bad boy up and um, get back to you and see what we got. But we're basically working with a, it says all winner A33 Cortex A7 quad core at uh, 1.2 gigahertz. So, and it works on Google Android 4.4 KitKat. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up and charge it and we'll get back to you with the rest of the review. Hello, my name is Joel Z. Williams and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Dragon Touch A93 quad core tablet, a 9 inch tablet. And uh, here's a look at what it looks like when it comes in the box. Of course I've had it out of the box, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like when you get it out. Alright, let's okay. begin. Whenever you do these kind of tests, everybody says, well, that's not really fair. You're not being fair because we don't know how fast your Wi-Fi connection is. So you're not really being fair. So what I did is I set up a network speed test. And when I hit this start button, you're going to see right off the bat how fast my internet connection is on my laptop computer. So there'll be no more of this dispute over how fast the Wi-Fi is in this house. Okay, here we go. So right now we're about... 13 Mbps per second upload and then our download speed is about 13.25 Mbps down so uh, to stream high quality video you need about 3 and I'm, I'm sitting at 13.25 so I, I'm, I'm doing really good on the upload um, to stream low quality video you only need about 1.5 so as, as, as you can see this would be the bare minimum threshold this is the higher end Netflix stuff and this is where I'm at right here right you know so way above required minimums okay now the reason I do that is to dispel all those those uh, naysayers okay so here we go this is the Dragon Touch A93 quad core uh, you know, nine inch tablet, Got bought it on Amazon. I think I paid about 75 bucks for it. Um, I thought it was a good deal. Uh, I got a tablet for Christmas and I wasn't happy with it, so I, I went and got something else. All right, so this is what we come with, uh, mini USB um, connector, charger, uh, AC charger. And of course, I've had this out of the packaging already. I just put it in here to give you a feel of uh, what it looks like when you get it out of the box. So you got your instruction pack, your instruction user manual, um, a step that I thought was really interesting, I didn't read it until recently, but it, it basically if you give them a, a review, they will uh, ship you out a case for free, but you got to do it within seven days, and then they give you some, uh, I guess for people who've never used a, a tablet, and they're trying to figure out how to make it work. Okay. So as you can see, it really looks, presents well. There's no um, visible branding on, on the front, which I like. Uh, on the back, it, of course, it has uh, kind of looks like a leather um, feel to it. I don't know how to properly explain that, but it has some stitching, which is really cool. I thought that was pretty cool. This is the eight gigabyte variety. <clears throat> so it comes, you know, a lot of that memory, of course, is dedicated to the operating system. Uh, but Dragon Touch, it's really, really light. I'd say it weighs about one, maybe 1.3 pounds. Not too heavy, but I like this size because it's, it's not too big where I won't pull it out and use it a lot. And it's small enough where I can read in bed. All right, I'm going to turn it on. Uh, good looking, excuse me. <laughs> good looking screen too, you know. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so you can see I've got quite a few apps on here. Now, here's one of the biggest problems that I saw all automatically. The date up here, you, you know, it's, it's indicating that it's eight or almost eight o'clock. 
um, that's not true. It's about nine o'clock and I'm in mountain time. So when, when I go to the settings and, and I try to fix it, <clears throat> so you'll go, uh, what is that? Uh, time, date and time. You'll go date and time. And it's, as you can see, it's set for automatic date and time, automatic time zone, which it should be using the internet to um, give it an indication as to where it is. It won't do it. All right, so then I'll say select time zone. Right now, it's got me defaulted to mountain standard time, which is not right. I'm in central time, basically Chicago time. So I'll try to put it on there, and you'll see what'll happen here. When I go back up here, Ah, it puts me right back down the mountain, the standard time. So, again, not not a, uh, I wouldn't say that, you know, that's not a deal breaker. But, you know, if you're buying a car and it's got a big scratch in the paint job, um, right from the manufacturer, when you get it, when you, you know, it makes you wonder what else is wrong with it. If they can't get that fixed, something that's uh, vi readily visible, what else is going on that I can't see? So I thought that was really fishy. Um, the other thing on it is uh, I, got, I bought this thing primarily to uh, use it to for my Amazon products because I have uh, Amazon Prime. So I figured, well, I can stream movies with it, right? I, I'll be good with that. I, I looked at the rating of the, the computer. It's got a quad core. It's certainly fast enough. There's no reason why it shouldn't. Well, let me show you what Amazon has done. Um, okay, so Kindle, you sure, you can, you can use Kindle. It'll let you have uh, access to the books. And this is real time, folks. I'm not, I'm not, this is how long it typically will take to load. So there's, there's not, uh, not, not pulling any punches here. I'm showing you how fast or slow it is. And um, you, I'll let you make up your own mind. But that's, that's how long it took to get to my, my book collection, you know. So not not uh not you know i don't want to be smirched them but i just want you to kind of get a view so yeah you can look at your books here's Ken amazon music from from dead stop give you a okay so that was faster i would say let's talk about the sound on here let me play a song everybody knows uh, gosh where's that shot a yeah here okay so uh uh Yeah, this one. Okay. I just want, to, want you to get a, a kind of view of the sound. That's all the way up. Here's a speaker here. You know, so not, not terrible. Okay, so not not terrible, um, certainly functional, and 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 you can see. Oh, let me show you the flipboard here, so you can get a. a it, this is very fast, responsive once it gets loaded, which I like. You can see this is flipboard, and uh, oh, let me go on to the news here. So it's, it takes a bit. It's a little slow when it gets to the program loading, but once it gets there. It seems to be very responsive, <clears throat> but and this is why I wanted to test that speed so that I don't want people saying, "Well, you're you got a slow internet." No, nope, no. Nope. And uh, so that's this is one of the knocks on it. This seventy-five dollar tablet. Jeez. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Well. I'm not going to sit here and wait for that. Um, let's go to the daily edition. Maybe that'll. Here that Did I hit it? Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Here's the daily stuff. And it, it, okay, you can see how see how responsive that is. Once it gets there, it seems to be pretty good. So I like that. All right. Let's go back to the main screen. Okay. Now. This is something I wanted to show you. So what I was told by the Amazon representative 
is to, uh, because I couldn't get this thing to work. I, I consider myself somewhat tech savvy and um, I couldn't get the, the Google, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, uh, Amazon Instant Video to work. And so I called the, the, the Kindle people, the Amazon people, and I was like, well, can you walk me through? What, what, what's going on here? I've got this A93 that's running Android uh, KitKat 4.4. What, what's the problem? This, this is, should be more than enough uh, tablet to run those programs. And she goes, well, you got to go to our app site. You got to go download the instant video from, from our Amazon app site. So I thought that was kind of funny because it was an Amazon, uh, you know, they had their own app site. I didn't know that. But they require that you go to this place. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I did that backward first. Let me back out of there. That's another thing too. It doesn't have a, I wish it had an off switch. Okay. I don't know what, okay. First time I've seen it do that. All right, so here we go with, uh, they want you to go download this, this program. So you'll go to Amazon uh, Instant Video and you'll get this at the App Store. So you have to download that app in order to get the appropriate app that you need to watch the video, which I thought was kind of, I can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to steer you. This is Amazon's App Store, which looks a lot like Google App Store. So I said, okay, I'll do that. I'll, I'll I have to get some more. Okay, so then I, I said uh, Amazon Prime uh, Video, right? Amazon Instant Video. Okay. So here's the app here, and it's free, as you can see. So let's go ahead and see if we can get that. And it shows you product description. The Prime Video Instant Player enables video playback for the Amazon app for Android, Android phones, right? But nothing about tablets. So I'm, going, I'm making this long presentation to show you that Amazon does not support uh, tablets. At this time, Android tablets for instant video. And I think that that is a material fact that should have been disclosed prior to purchasing this. I think that there's a lot of, especially when you're buying it on Amazon, I think that a lot of viewers uh, need to know that if you get this tablet as of the, today, which is, the, we're at the end of December, right after Christmas, if you buy this tablet, you are not going to be able to watch your Amazon Instant Prime videos. So I want everyone to be aware of that. And that's really the purpose of this, why I'm creating this, this uh, review. I found that to be a material fact that uh, was misrepresented, that was, uh, it was basically omitted. And, and I, I think that that is, uh, I, well, I'm just really upset about it. And uh, when I spoke to the representative, she gave me this, oh, well, we are aware of the problem, um, but we do have Kindle. You know, you, if you buy a Kindle product, you can access that no problem. And uh, I was not very satisfied with that answer. So overall, for 75 bucks, you're gonna get a, a good tablet that you, you, know, you can check your email with. You can, you can search the internet. <clears throat> Let's, uh, let me do a uh, boat. Uh, Dragon Touch A93. Okay, right off the bat, so not bad, you know what I mean? So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want, I feel like the manufacturer is getting a bad rap here because of something Amazon's doing. The, the laptop for 75 bucks, I, I think it's a good deal. It's, it's still something that uh, I would purchase, but uh, if, you're, if you're buying it, relying on it, thinking that you're gonna be able to see your video, that's a, that's a no, no go. So. This is gonna take forever, huh? It's usually not this slow. I I don't know what the deal is, but uh, I'm not gonna make you watch that. All right, so, okay, there we go.
All right, so my name is Joel Z. Williams, and I tried to do my best to be as fair and, and as accurate as I can be. Um, if at a later time Amazon releases the app that allows you to play instant video, I'll take this down. But until then, I'm just reporting the facts. Thank you very much.